it's a very poignant memory for me. One uh, I remember just like yesterday. I was a 10 year old boy at the time, a sultry su summer evening, and we were over at the neighbor's house swimming in their pool. And our parents called us in and said, come, come in, they're landing on the moon. They're about to set foot on the moon. And uh, so I went in uh, and uh, watched this, you know, with just amazement. Um, and it happened to be that evening that there was actually a full moon. Um, so as a 10-year-old boy, to look out at the moon and then look at the TV and look at the moon, um, I didn't realize it at the time, but that's the day I became an aerospace engineer. <laughs> And uh, went on that fall uh, to a fourth grade class, and my fourth grade teacher asked us to write a story. And she gave us several different subjects, but I wasn't interested in any of those subjects. So, so my story started out, uh, you know, Billy and, and, and Joey were watching the Cowboys fight the Indians, and then they turned the TV off and went out and built a rocket. And uh, so, you know, it obviously stuck with me uh, throughout my life. and, and uh, we owe a lot, of course, to our colleague Neil and uh, our NASA colleagues uh, who inspired a whole, a whole generation, a whole planet, uh, you know, with, uh, with the amazing events that happened, happened 50 years ago. Uh, certainly it influenced my generation greatly, and uh, we're all thankful for that.